Uh, good evening. Welcome to the High Gate Select Board meeting for September 5th, 2024. Uh, first item of the business pledge of allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the truth of the Republic, one thing, one nation, under the God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Already lost my agenda already. But we always start with public comment. Anybody here that wants to speak from the public? Open floor. Oh, Alright, sir. If you can identify yourself. I'm Mark Lombardi. Welcome. I'm at the Thalon Leave Road. Well, we're here basically town tiny when I understand it is taking ownership of my major property, Randy Asian. Yeah, basically, I spoke with Sherry prior to the sale. Randy, there's like a, there's a bar in the, in her dodge, but the woman shed, it's a 12 by 16 shed, and she gave back to you, that he was gonna give me. But after the comes this year, Sherry, we decided not to go ahead with that because our issues with disturbing the soil. So basically now that you guys own the place, um, I'm here to see. I've got I kind of drag that the head folks in front of that building is my weight. So I gotta drag it about 30 feet from where it is down my room and then I'll go three. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, is by me taking it, it saved the talent from having to dispose of it. <laughs> and if you guys are willing to let me drive it across the field that offered it to my hand, thought would, and if I can have the bill here. So down this James Dunbar Street. Okay, um, what's the address on that? 1031 1031 and the state just gave us the stipulations of the demolition so i could email those to you i just got them this up in okay so i'll look at those just before does that include every structure on the property yeah it's not that you couldn't get rid of it not yeah. that you couldn't have it it's just you could can't disturb any of the ground right. because of the Abenaki right. uh, sites that are around there. So the state wants us to provide certain um, protections for the ground. So if he was willing to do that, do it. You know, it should be fine, but. What a, how, how in depth are we talking lifting it with a helicopter? No, no, no. I, okay, I mean, I wouldn't put it back to state. Uh, yeah. As it sits right there. How are you thinking to move it? How you roll? What I would like to do is I've got forks on my tractor, wheel the forks on the tractor, stick them under the belt, and let them off. Take two steel, like five, I think they're six by six steel square beams. You know, call, put them underneath the building, and then back up to the building with my tractor, pick up the beams and like the speeds. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Truly. They're just so pushing. Flood building now. Got to build. So they just don't want you digging. I don't know. To move in. It's so that they just can't get it up the soil. Yeah. So. Why get it with the grass? Up the soil. But what's that mean? Like the back down on the grass? I mean, it sit up better than we can. Oh, he, he was mowing his grass before you put your tractor there and that wasn't a problem. Right? Right. So put a couple logs down, telephone, telephone poles, put a chain on it, roll it. Yeah. Go up to serve anything. We'll see what the state wants. I'm this is the first I've heard of this, so I'll read what they want and we'll get back to you. I see no reason in the if you made a deal with them prior to that, they just destroying a perfectly good building if you could use it. Yeah, that was the thing. It's you know, we didn't want to rock the boat yeah. through the sale, you know, when that hot issues come up, so the village dollar right the rule of his sale was whatever he had going on you guys famous really whatever so we um we shame you but yeah 
Yeah, yeah. if it's liquid, you have a 20 feet wood broccoli, so it's like, yeah, let's. Yep. All right, let us uh, research that. I haven't read it, like I said, and we'll get back to you. Can't give you the suits tonight. We got to see what the state wants. But we, we won't let it get demolished in the meantime. Okay. We should be able to have before the next board meeting. Yeah. Yep. That time, right? I'm assuming it's every two weeks. Every First two. two we, we should be able to get the suit for you before that. For the next meeting. Which two weeks from now. Yeah. Yep. Demolition still has to go out to bid, so it would be. We got plenty of time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Either way, I'll put a red red ribbon around it to <laughs> do not touch. So something like that. Well, you yeah, know, I can throw this out too. Um, I was thinking if basically I was just she shared Naya has in order to accomplish that with I don't care what we get for contractor, that's quite too <clears throat> demo building without disturbing the soil. Um, my property is really close. This is the end of the house. Oh, uh, it's, there was a way that you could kind of look and that property is good. It's basically, you have our bits, you know, so it's all, you know, run it, seems to be wherever. Um, just something I can throw out there that I keep willing to entertain the thought of contractor kind of using that to get closer to the building. I mean, he's got to go down the locked up driveway. You're going to get to the garage and that side of the house, but the complete other side of the house. Um, whether let me talk to about whether we toast me nuts, plywood, or down, it's going to cost probably you guys fortune to demo a building to that extent where he might be able to get access through my land to the end of the building as possibly an option coming forth to me over here to get meet the state. Feel so just fucking throw a lot of help just to give us. Okay. Sounds good. We will get back to you. Okay. Thank you for bringing that to us. Thanks. Yeah, on this back. Wait on that. We're just this. Yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to stick around the same way the rest of the meeting. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Uh, anybody else for public comment? I was Bobo Ponder. Hello. And go back to me and I'm the chair of the library trustees. Um, and thinking that our new director at your last meeting. She we did. Very busy. Um, I asked her about Putin. And which was better. Where, in. where she came from, we're here. So. It shouldn't be better. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Oh, she passed the test. <laughs> um, some of the projects that she wanted to work on were with the exterior of the library. And she raised some questions that the board has also been wondering about. So I'm here to pose them to you. Um, we, the library has its own separate budget, as you know. Um, but as part of the town, we're wondering where the line is, um, like where we are responsible for taking care of maintenance of the library out of our own budget and, you know, hiring things out and where we could ask the town through for assistance and if there are things that we can ask to count through for assistance with how we go about doing that. Is it okay for one department to, I'm not saying to like to make a demand, but to make an ask of the town through, or should that come through your board? Should that go through Sharon? How, how should we deal with that? I guess some of the projects that she's looking at that we're talking about, it's kind of a broad question, but some of the things that we're looking at right now is she'd like to clean up the outside of the building and pressure wash it and maybe to put a fresh coat of paint on, which is for building. So it's just the trim at the top. Um, the drop box 
where you can drop books to get the libraries closed was all run it out on the bottom and it's currently sitting to the right of the door, like up on the ramp. She had somebody that she knows come look at that and took the base off of that because it was just rusted out and she was afraid it was gonna fall through that wooden ramp. But she'd like to move it down to the left of the steps where you walk up in. I think it would be good to check with the town for all that because we don't want to put it somewhere where it's going to be in the way it is done flat. Um, I think that there was a bunch of signage that she wanted to remove that was out of date. But I think that she has done that on her own. And there's also a concrete hole in the front of the rain apple. Uh, oh, like, um, I guess I'm not sure if the purpose of that is snow cloud does not hit the ramp. Um, so if that needs to stay because it has a purpose, that's fine. And we would just like to get it. We'll take some heads to the day. It looks good. Without? What do we do? I don't have uh, somebody else talking. Sorry. I don't have the, the budget right in front of me. I mean, it's something that small ask. I think DPW can do. Um, I did get an email this afternoon about painting. I think they were, might've been misinterpreted. I thought you wanted the whole thing painted, not just the trim, but the email I got back, it's already been kind of asked to Nick. Yep. They right now are doing all kind of grant work, trying to get that done before the cold weather gets here. And of course, after that, I won't be able to paint anyways. Right. So it's kind of a bad time of year to ask for that. But, um, let me discuss with public works, please submit your own waiting for projects that's the email i got today yeah. they're very busy no I, I understand. it's a matter of getting it on the agenda uh, right um for the little stuff yeah for the bigger stuff you might have to contract it out and that might have to come out of your budget or maybe it would have to come out of the library budget the library budget so, okay. following the governmental accounting standards space so the auditors look at where the money was like why was my spent? Where was it spent? What was it spent for? So if it is for the purchase of the library, then it will come out of the library budget. Okay. Every department has a go into grand sign on its furniture. So I spoke with Rebecca this morning that that is something that needs to be budgeting for. Uh, this day stuff projects that are beyond what you have budgeted for. So I guess for those smaller, for, for any projects, yeah. I guess, should it, should we put a list to Nick and say, this is what we are interested in having done. Can you let us know what you can do, what you can't do, and kind of what the timeline is on that? Because I certainly don't expect to give him all this and say, this is what we want done next week. Um, but, you know, if he can look at that and say, you know, maybe we can get to that before snow flies. No, we can't do that one. We can do that, but it's not going to be in the springtime. Right. You know, that would be helpful to us. Is that how it should go about? Okay. Send it to Nick and send uh, to Sharon, too. This way, because she, she, you know, our eyes and ears to the town. So this way we get it, too. So it is okay for us to reach out to Nick directly and just copy Sharon. Let me just help you. I like to get a copy of that. I work through as a post. Of what's the trim and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. form of Yeah, it's involved here. Yeah. 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 We had not heard on that. This what is for the trustees. Yeah. 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 At the library. Maybe it could just go through with the news. If they're... Because it would be probably... It would be loud work. I mean, that trim is all up high in the peak of there. And she didn't know what the county's stance was for liability. Well, the, the whole thing there is you, it's not that expensive to, to run a mail lift for a day. We can mail it all out and do it from a mail lift and, and not even worry about ladders. Okay. And what I'm saying is it wouldn't cost that much. Okay. Uh, I would more, I would more than happily help him. And I know we get some people together to, to right. It's going to be a lot easier to do it like that to get public works to do it. So, because it's not work as well. Yeah, and you do them in the afternoon. Right, I mean, like the, like the, the bollard and the, well, that stuff, we, this probably to protect the steps, I'm guessing. But, uh, and the bigger stuff where, you know, equipment needs to be used, that's where we can ask those guys if they can help out when they have time. But, uh, the rest of it seems like we can't work, we can put together. 
and, and not the house. Right. Yeah. Nick Craig responded to me when I posed the question and he said that he had spoken to the library the other day. She asked if we could remove the yellow steel post in front of the deck and if we could do a little mortar repair on the front of the building. Nothing was mentioned about scraping and painting. He says, I would be able to pull the post and fix the couple spots of mortar right. on the front of the building, um, but not scraping and repainting. We have no supplies to do the exterior painting, and as you said, we got plenty on our fleet. Good. So, I think he was planning on getting back in touch with her. Oh, that was a little things. Uh, no, I'm not trying to go around, Nick. I just wanted to make no. sure that we were doing so, the uh, right it's way in the future. We appreciate, appreciate the ask. Okay. We'll do what we can. That's fine. Okay. But I just learned something tonight about budgets and GAO. So. Like I can post it to the general fund. Yeah. And they will make me do a bit at the end. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh. Yep. So. Is there a community mm -hmm. service required up for ice to students? <laughs> Some actually, actually, there is a. Yeah. Um, what does it? Seniors else used to help us again with the IT care um, practice. We, Christine talked about this. I am going to get a name. Brand Bright ability. Is that what it is? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I think that it is maybe like an alternative spread tab. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, she had a contact that there and they used all these service projects. So there was a few other things that they were going to be able to help with. Another another thing too is uh, Youth Court. Sure. Um, you can reach out to Youth Court obviously for the season is coming, but next year, uh, Youth Court will come and they, they get a bunch of people and then uh, we've had that huge stuff for us and another doubt. Reach out to the fire department too. They pressure wash from me every year. But that, that professionally done once because it was so disgusting. But they do it from the back, the doorways, the windows, they have a pressure washer. And they're always looking for stuff to do on Monday nights when they're all together as a group, so. Yeah, we need like, them to do the thing. It's a lot of training. Sweet. There you go. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for both. We have all the answers here. I got it. All right, we do <laughs> <laughs> We tried. <laughs> from the, the prison that, that the Ariane was using for a bit. So, uh, Program. Yes. Um, so I'll that. I'd be helpful. So it, the Arena has also used the labor force from the corrections to some other to get some projects done. Mm -hmm. Just starting it back up. They have to keep it. Go back. Flow, cheap, whatever. Okay. Good deal. Thank you. Jess? Need to work the camera. Okay. Here for later. Okay. Anybody else for public comment? No? Cool. Okay. All right, we'll move on. Uh, airport update. Mr. Cliff Coy. How you guys doing? Busy, just like you. This so nice. Um, happened to, uh, to say that the airport has reopened with an additional 1,001 feet after many decades of working towards getting on the runway. Um, the runway is not certified yet. So the FAA still needs to show up and certify the runway uh, for any numbers, for the lights, and to turn on our buttons. So that's in the works. That being said, um, our efforts have already paid off. Uh, we've already received uh, at least seven turbo property aircraft over the day, um, including President of Perks, who I didn't bend his year, he had other things to do, but I did bend the year of the guy that split them, and they are now looking into giving us rental hours. Hey. Um, we have already discussed with Titan Aviation Fuels to brand with them, and they are going to, in return, start promoting our airport to the aircraft that would bring charter and cargo up to the airport. It's a Timeline for all of this is probably going to be something on spring as when a lot of this is spare to play. Um, but uh, within the last week, um, we've already seen over 300 aircraft operations. Yeah, I mean, people are people literally flying through all of them. Um, part of the promotion that we're going to push is that we are now officially the closest airport to Montreal. 
Dami Mat Palace is about to read and if our gift for people who want to fly out from the region, land at the airport, rent a car, drive us in Montreal. He's with us just um Sean, you know, right, there's been two Act 250 permits put in for the Schweiners. Um, I, we're feeling probably two or three calls a week now for people looking to fill hangers at the airport. Um, the largest impediment to that um, is the people wanting to sell hangers. Uh, yeah. um, it's going to take a long time. But, uh, I was, and you, my understanding from the last back council meeting is that the uh, stormwater and provisional I 250 permits have been granted, but that anyone who now wants to fill that hangar. If they don't build the exact footprint that the still has been approved, they're going to have to go through changing both the school and water and the actual search permits to uh, to compute their best building. So I've been telling uh, prospective clients now to budget on between six to eight months to get permit approval. That, that's bad or not. That that seems to be a lot from that in time. Uh, and then once the furniture are built. That would be city rates, so we draw up. Uh, I, I mean, it's in, uh, are these private airplane hangars or something bigger? Uh, we'll talk about. Yes. So, both. Both. Okay. But there is I want two people that I know that are, that are seeking to, to actually base their draw box backpacking. Hey. So, the, we, we all, this is we all pricing for a jet or a travel cop or any of the crafts in Canada is easily three to five to the distance he's a handsome uh, so but there's a lot of interest to a shorter grant like here um when we had a um found a clearance when we were about that we, we call in the people on the customs that to come down to the in the in the states ofo office of field operations yeah. field office. um about one quarter to one third of the hangers were owned by Kingston's, specifically because it was less expensive. Yeah. Right. Well, about 23 years ago, that all came to us reach calls. Oh, what do you say? We were still technically um, classified as a port of entry, but so the things there not absurd. Okay, sure. Now that we've got the, the runway set up, um, I'm hoping that by the end of next year, We'll have enough operations uh, to go for grant the same that we can now establish uh, uh, the customs and the U.S. control at the airport. The, uh, the U.S. government's requirements for that are that we build them a building to their specifications that they lease and that we pay the salaries to what control agents. Oh, uh, to the Sarah, I'm glad. I say that. But that's that's it in the five to ten. Thanks, Bill. Other than that, we the flight school is going gangbusters. Um, probably some from twenty five students now. Um, that's habitat for aviation and uh, for bringing our special areas. Totally, it's got like, uh, is going very well. Even in other words, but they didn't see. So that's what we've got going on here. In tunes. We've got water. The water line started this week. So, um, you should have uh, both water and sewer. I don't know the schedule for you guys. Five to. Five Thanks, Jerry. They did the outreach. So, Bye. I'm talking about sewer today. We're still getting people interested in signing up for those just got people. Thanks for the cut. I'm a lot of activity, a lot of drugs happen. Cliff, can you tell us how many businesses are actually at the airport? Because when you, when we talked, it shocked me. I had no idea how many businesses were currently at the airport. So there's currently uh, businesses operating out of the airport. Um, to call the airport in their location. Um, there is mine, there's Ping Shot, there's Fabrication Shot, there's Clyde School, there's a Club Club. Um, there is EAA and Habitat for Aviation. There is La Pierre. Uh, and just fly to work. So there's eight businesses to work on the airport itself. And corporate aircraft, there's roughly 20 to 30 
businesses based in right the, the, rid of them. Can't. Yeah, and the shop. Wait. I know I did. So when when we close the airport, it's these businesses have to find someplace else to be there. So it's a big we we've survived two more times or two times. There are uh, the, the the last that counts to me, uh, the next stage, the state of Vermont is the pink is to continue the, the full length fancy way to the north. So this would, um, would help help. So instead of having to back taxi halfway down the runway, turn around to the end and then take off, this allows you to taxi all the way to the end, then the take off. That allows additional aircraft operations because something can be landing the chicken off while the aircraft is back and when is that tax be going in? When? Is that next up? Uh, they are applying for the grant funding to now. Mm. So it's probably going to be at least two years, two years out. Be there some fun. That won't require another closure, will it? Uh, oh. Another runway closure? Okay, <laughs> never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, subject. Depends on who you ask. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so it's, uh, it's a fairly straightforward. The tax move was actually established already in 1969. Um, the airport to which we built, they just never picked which was to mission they caught the city here in house in that place. Person of Hertz flew in there, huh? What do you fly in? What what airplane? Uh you shut up on a flight PC twenty four. Nice. Yeah. I actually spoke with Matt Chats today. So Matt Chats, if you don't know about this company, um, if your uh, corporation doesn't want all its own jet, it um, buys into a company called NetJets, which is basically like Uber's of aircraft. Right? So you call up and say, hey, I want to go from here to here, and they send a job or throw a bunch of fix you up, fly you to that spot, drop you off, and only they go back to that back. It's a cost effective way to move yourself around. You think so, Doc? It's a good Jack. Do you have jet fuel there? We have jet fuel. Okay. Uh, uh, 4,000 gallon tank. Um, part of the deal, yep. depending on usage of uh, the, uh, the airport, following the beast, the Jantro, the funds, and eh? one of the limitations of the turbo prop aircraft that we set up again is once they shut the engine down, you can't start them back up for about five minutes. And they actually have to that the hot section. Cool. The first, if you restart them, the two lot, then they have to be burnt and packed. So, having them pull up to my school farm, shut down, get gas. Now they have to wait to yes. and to shove them away from like high them. Okay. Then we have a lot, a lot of helicopters that will fly in and they will each other die. I don't know, this was a hot ratio. So that's the best that for you still. Oh, yeah. The Pac 250 hangar permits, where, where are they gonna, are they building to the south, to the north? So they'll be the east. south, uh, they're previously um, on the stone, um, stone mark and actually the furthest, but I don't, I just learned about it today. Okay. So I don't know if they're going to do the existing footprint. Um, I do know there's, there's uh, several interested parties of, of building the same row of box hangers. So instead of building four individual hangers, the cap to be separated by 80 feet for fire can you get, um, if you build four boxes, together share walls, then you can increase your density um, by a lot. Um, and it's a I mean, these cost of that to, to the kind of group piece, but together as their hunger association. Um, because it clocks the reach of road, um, it's more cost effective in yeah. left areas. We don't have a block of rain to the south at the moment. Um, we've got maybe room for eight to 10 years tops. To the north, we've got probably three or four thousand more available slots until we expand the rest of Any talk of expanding to the east through the existing hangars back towards where we have the industrial park planned and zoned? Um, so, the, the 20 year plan of uh, the airport layout plan, um, which is available in state by so um, is the state's idea of what they want the airport to look like in 20 years. Um, currently, they're updating now. Um, there was uh, an idea of a uh, way back when for the uh, for, uh, Harrison to exchange for additional hangar spots. 
Um, there's already on the plan to the east, um, not utilizing that area, but to the east for an additional 60 to 80 hectares. So we've got plenty, plenty of room on the airport itself for purchasing the statue, both, both just hires and for business at the lab right there. And the water part is going to be the dub. It'll be a lot of fire. Right, right. What? Any more? Yeah, good. So probably the other thing is that the Philippine got fell and burned it. And that originally mentioned was having a groundbreaking ceremony to bring attention to the project, to push the idea of the economic development, to give the Air Force some good press, some yep. good, um, it's a good feel good story. Um, we talked about the 12th, Bird is not available, but it is available on the 13th in the afternoon. It's Friday. Oh, Friday, the Friday 13th. What better time it's for groundbreaking? Year. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great for guys, you know, kind of a legislative delegation at that. Yeah, that works. So, yeah, any of you that can attend full time? Um, three? Yeah. Three yeah. Like? yeah. Okay. It should be oh. the 13th at 3 p.m. And I have started to email, I haven't sent it yet, but started the email with all of my representatives. I will ask the governor's office if he would be interested in coming. Um, we can invite any did or will invite Swanton uh, and their trustees. We'll invite to, uh, Northwest Regional Planning, uh, Franklin County Industrial Development, and all the state parties that have had a hand in this project as a uh, show of good news. Excellent. I did not. So hopefully we can get the messenger and maybe some of the news channels to give us a little rest. Sounds like a plan. It's not. Okay. Anybody else got questions for Cliff about the airport? Yeah. Anything else, Cliff? That's about okay. awesome. that. That's good news. We like good news. Yeah. Thanks for the update. Thanks for that. I like you. <laughs> I know it's been a long road getting there, but I'm glad it's moving along. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Good deal. Thank you. I'll get this to you. Thank you. Thank you. How you been swanning? Cutting got the rings a little bit for you. We try hard. Good. All right. Thank you. That's good. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's, uh, let's run to Shelly. Check warrants, tax sale, audit update. Just... You have to check them out in front of you. I do. Everybody get to read it? Yes, it's got. All right. Can I get a motion to approve the check? I'll make a motion to approve the check for it. I'll shut it. All those who say aye? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, tax sale. We supposed to have a day for October 5th, but I have, I have not signed my fish or seen anything from the attorney's office, so I'm not really holding my breath on that. Or uh, I'm having a custom, and I think she's a little uh, to around at the moment, so if we have it on the fifth, we have it on the fifth, and if we don't, then I'm going to be postponing it so I can include people that are eager to reach point uh, that think they could have this time. Bernie, last, last meeting, what the percentage was on the tax increase, and yeah. our uh, total, including education and municipal, our taxes went up in high date, eight and one, two, five percent. Not good, but way better than what it could have been. Oh, uh, yeah. Better than some of our neighbors. And yeah. Dealing with tax report, we're uh, currently at an outstanding balance of $46,288.82. So people are still making their payments. The ones that are on the of them, you're still plenty of guys have yet to reach out and do anything each job. I do hope that this, the 8.125% increase, I and mean, we have had a few people can learn to actually be happy about it so considering what the original news was yes i guess there's a bright side yeah to that yeah yep yeah. um audit update yes the audit happened it is not over i'm sure for insurance is able to get to as we and foundation that he's sort of winning up i am still waiting for UDM. uh they 
I sent you a message today and we spoke to the altars. Haven't heard anything. I reached out again today. I made a phone call. They uh, this response was basically that they have some more things to figure out before they give their give us their final invoice, but he was hopeful that they could do it within the next week. Good. Um, until that happens, I don't have any update. Okay. Um, and unless you have something else for me, that shall then with you. Uh, nope. Anybody else? Shall I? Um, is there, I don't like that to bring up in the session later about anima control. Is there any extra money in that fund? Yes. Well, for your brand budget, she's like, how much extra? I'm not sure. We had to discuss. She's running into some issues, so I want yeah, to discuss with the board. Yep. Talking about like four things? Yes. The... She's got about $2,600 left in this year's budget for uh, inbound. Okay, thank you. Um, um, also? Yes. Okay. We'll talk later about that. Okay. Uh, moving on. Town clerk, Wendy. Yes. Uh, you have four to fifteen minutes. Um, August first, you were not with the pictures last time, based on who was present. So it looks like you're all here. So that meeting was Mary, Kyle, and Stein. You gotta make the motion on that one. Two pretty minutes for August first. That was there. Oh, okay. I'll make the motion for August first meeting. Minutes. Second. All those in favor say aye. All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Okay, you can't do it. <laughs> okay, the next one was Thursday, August 15th, and that I was for Preacher of the Events. All right, can I get a motion to approve the minutes for August 15th for uh, myself, Richard, and Beth? We make sure. I'll second it. All right. All those say aye. Thank you. Actually, I think August 15th, standby. I think that was the one I had a question about. Yep. I. Okay. Very detailed. Um, some wording on here that I would suggest changing. Go by. Tell me, show. Uh, which page? Uh, page two. Okay. Yeah, I'll walk it over there. So, so share a target thread on Sash and Eddie said it was a bit of a map. Yeah. Yes. Uh, as we suggest something, why don't you share it via them if you disagree with Carolyn's thoughts of the event? Okay. Please. To the uh, rest of the this pile of this thing there. Should it go to the state already? No, are we backtracking? Was of the other part of the official record for it? And let's say it's like that. Uh, Pulling. All right. So, so does anybody want to redo that? Yeah, we're asking a question. Um, if we already got 15, so we could read that. So, I like part of the top I just mentioned on the bottom before we redo the motion. Now, do you mention this one? Okay. Can I get a motion to add the order amended as mentioned to Wendy? Call second. All those set? Thank you. Okay. Plus. The next step was August 19th, the special meeting. It looks like you were all there. Okay. Can I get a motion for the minutes for August 19th, if everybody read them? I'll make the motion. Set them. All those set? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Good. 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 Good.
August 28th. Looks like you were all there. Yep. <clears throat> Get a motion for uh, minutes for August 28th. Oh my God, my son. A second. All those say aye. 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 Thank you. Nothing. Just saying cues. Um, the only other thing I have to add is the Duke Channel website launched last week. <clears throat> it's not perfect. It ain't. Um, I'm looking at it right now for the first time, and I'm lost. Good. I'm lost. I know. <laughs> it's it's very nice. Um, it looks all pretty. The same information is there, but it's definitely not in the same spot. Uh -uh. So um, there's a lot of stuff that's hard coded that I cannot fix that I'm still waiting on the company to fix. Some of the other pages I'm learning. Only like back end things are a little bit different. So I've spent a fair amount of time on that this week and I broke to finish the same thing as for the week. There used to be a quick link to the GIS map. There's a scroller right underneath. Do you see that? Um, right underneath the picture. Legit. I didn't. A scroller? Oh. Then the cheap press it. No, it's yeah. not. So again, yes. So. I'm oh, sorry, man. That's a big uh, first step. Mm -hmm. That you're not being given page. Go to the oh. home page. Right here. There's links to the online. Oh, oh okay. The online land records. They're right. all there. Okay. And I think they work. So it's that for It's from arts. Yep, there you go. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I'm lost without my GIS. Look at the top. Oh, that, that, that. Hey, it's now. I see. All right. What else you got, Wendy? Um, and the only other thing I have is I did get an authorization from the state that starting September 23rd is my ballots are being mailed to all active registered voters. So be watching for those by the end of the month. That's for the general election, correct? Yep. yep. Thanks. It should be one ballot, right? One ballot. It's going to be two sided because um, the front side is all the state and federal. On the back is our local, which is our JPs. Oh, okay. And our ballot question that we added. Look up. Good deal. Should be easy one there compared to the last one. Uh, yes. Yep. But that Thanks. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, town administrator Sharon. Okay, I have a list. I know you do. I'm looking at it. So, 28 million ballot item. So, you had agreed to <clears throat> put the 28 million property on the ballot. That will mean, and that will say that for the forgiveness of the Interest penalties and coins against the broader rate and thirty-five thousand um, dollars. Would the voters agree to buy that property? <coughs> so just to give people a heads up, because that'll be coming on the ballot, and we'll when you'll have something for you to sign next meeting to legally put that on the ballot. Okay. Um, the pole barn moving. Uh, I was able to reach the contractor who gave us the bid for the response I spoke to him today. You can mention um, that. My question would be, do we want the public works department to do the site work for the building? So there'll be, have to be some trees that'll be cut and into the what will have to be that at least brought down to us. Sing out. So how do you want that? I would say that. I think uh, I think we discussed it. It's a little bit of passion. I thought they will we, we agree to have them. Have them um, he could get her in. I just want to make sure they expected that they would start probably uh, first of all to start in the middle of October. Okay. So so they that on the engines. Yeah. Um, airport water and sewer. The project. Uh, because the contractor will be skilled. Yes, yeah, sorry. Sorry, in car too. Is it is moving or just being demo? Uh, it's moving. Okay. It'll move over to the transfer station road, basically across the road, but back this way from the castle chair. Oh, very um, April water and sewer, that project started on Tuesday. 
that I did drive by today when I went to visit Clint and there's lots of people out there at work at well. It's a good time. Okay. Um, God. Update on 1031 at Road. We have had the closing on that property, so that is now the, the property of the town. The town has been reimbursed to those closing costs from the state already. Um, the abatement people went last week, last Thursday, and I have good news, there's no lead-based paint, and they okay. owe us best as they got building. Great. So our abatement is, yes, it's, that's fabulous. Great. So an RFP will be put together uh, to get that demolition bit up as good chance off. And this was a FEMA bow because one of the houses that floods all the time? Yeah, yeah. that was the one that was so badly damaged yeah. in the January 2018. Yeah. 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 So that will go all back to flood plains, and there are certain restrictions because of the Abenaki right. and the, uh, the Abenakis and the Bay archaeological consultant will be required on that project as they demoed. Right. So we just have to follow the critical sign file. Um, right. I'm just going to a quick question. I'm yeah. probably going to regret asking this. <laughs> um, if there's no asbestos, there's no lead, is there any way you get the fire department followers to fit? Mm. It's easy for training. It right. So really save a lot of abuse on the, on the ones ground. Yeah, absolutely. Hard ground to get trained out of it and we could save on the ground. That's a great idea. Seems like it makes a win-win. Yeah, I hadn't considered that. That's a great knock. Are you talking about lighting it on fire? The demo? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they do their training yeah. at the windows. Yeah. And and we did that a few times. Incorporate some training in with it and then let it go. Yeah, that's waiting. You get a restriction for it, we'll walk burning that. Yeah. yeah, there's no asbestos. No lead, no yeah. Lead. Right. Maybe that's, I don't that would be the roof. You got to take the roof, right? Yeah. Or if it's 10, I don't know what it is, but now they don't want that to burn enough. Right. It would be a great training and, and. Well, yeah, I can get with Gary and Ralph and see if we could get permission from the state to. Yeah. It's not as easy because not as easy as it used to be, but we already know there's no. Right, that's the right. part. It's right. That's your course about it. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. It would be great, that challenge. So we have received additional grant money. We received $724,315 additional wastewater money. Um, I am currently applying for a million dollar Northern Borders Regional Mission Grant that goes into tomorrow. Um, if we get that, we should have a fully funded project. That's awesome. So cross our fingers. Uh, we also received three hundred sixty-four thousand dollars from the Vermont Blank and Ted Grant, so that will go toward our sidewalk improvements in the village. At the same time, we do our waste bomber uh, the lines. Um, I am also working on getting a Merck grant for the rec department. Um, we. I, I'm hoping that they will consider us for a five hundred thousand dollar. Merp Grant. What's Merp? Municipal Energy Resources something. For Brandon? Okay. But yes, we had a mini grant for $4,000, which helped us um, with the engineer or the architect. And she's going through some designs, and I've sent you the last of those two couple of designs that she produced that will go for the rec board on Monday uh, to give you an idea of what they're looking at. I made some pretty nice cool. looking changes and should be a real uh, advantage to prep. So we're looking for that. Uh, we also already have the 408,000 uh, from the Welch appropriation. And then we have whatever's left over from the ARPA grant. So we should have, if we get that, we should be able to do the roof and a new entrance the way they would like and have the profit. Is the roof repair or replaced? It is currently at a replace. Wow. Um, so. If you happen to notice on the right 
property where the disposal field is town purchased. They are doing a rare and threatened endangered species study where a couple of rare plants found along the backside of the homes. So the state is in there. We're going to get so yeah. just uh, cross the cheese and not the ice bag. But if you see somebody in there, that's what they're doing. Uh, but we have had a request for from Northwest Access um, if we would be willing to be part of their um, a new trial program that they'd like to build. Because people are getting harder to hire for a part-time job, they often find themselves strapped. Um, not that you don't enjoy your company, you're doing a great job for us, but they have asked if we would consider putting a 360 degree camera in here that they would run from their office in St. Albans. Sounds on me. They'd leave a cabinet, a laptop, and a camera here. And then all we'd have to do is just plug it in and point it. They would do everything else. They would do the swivel and get everything from their office. The remotely control the camera like during, yes. me like during yeah. meetings? Yeah. So they asked if you would be interested in doing that. I said I would bring it to you. Would that put you out of a job? <laughs> <Not enough. laughs> or would you, would you be sitting in the remote control room aiming the camera? I mean, I would probably, probably sit in the remote control room. I'm just, I'm waiting to see what happens. All right. So I think their plan was to try two towns. So, and then the rec department is here because they have a request. I see them. So I will turn that over to them. All right. Pat, I, I have a question about Cam. No. Would that they will allow two way communication? So if you've got people who are joining in on the meeting and locally, are that now unequal people that ask questions remotely? Speak to me. I don't know the answer to that. We have that ability on our oh, phone now? here. Yes. So. Yes. I, I run the, the Zoom link. Uh -huh. So there's someone who to, we can do it that way. I'm not sure if that would should go through the mark last two notes. Sorry. Good question. We should keep the... If we do a Zoom link and send them a Zoom link, do we need a 360 camera in here? Is it the same thing? No, the yeah. physical camera, we'd still need, and I don't think we can give them the Zoom link access. No, that... we send them the Zoom recording and they load it on our YouTube channel. We've done that. Okay. We will okay. Is the audio better? This is like with Northwest X. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't for the question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. I would think about the audio and the sound of you zoom in is it easily yeah. is terrible it's all and you can't hear any edits. So if in doing this we could upgrade our audio equipment and if we I don't know if there's a way that we could use that for other meetings that are in here just the thoughts. Okay. I guess no, my thought is we give it a try and let them use us as a test bed. Oh, but still, you know, have this there until we figure out if it works or not. If they need a place to test it. Yeah. This room's got some echo issues. We need some sound deadening on one of the walls. I think carpet would have helped, but, um, tapestries. What's that? Tapestries. Tapestries. <laughs> Curtains. Something might help, uh, take the echo away. But are you, you guys in favor of having Northwest put a 360 in there just for testing? I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. I just once normal when it's being used. But right. that's a good point. Yeah, I don't Does it gotta be a little little green light on and then we know it's on or just for the For me it's I'm I'm no conspiracy theorist, but yeah. my brother's watching everybody and I don't necessarily you know, I wanna know when the things recording. Was that good? Can I have an Audi problem mean? What if they came right. to the next meeting and discuss how they plan to do it? Yeah, well, we get some more information on that. Yeah. At least have us like a physical on-off switch or 
something that we can access to shut it off. So we have other meetings back here, right? Any more on Northwest? Nope. All right, Rick Debargo. But can you have the video to get action? How I should. Uh, so we have the crew shout uh, coming together. Mm -hmm. The thing about next week, we'll have all the most of the big parts uh, together. The last big purchase that we need is for the smart machine, the sharpen. We're going on with the newest one that just came out. It's a dual, so there's two. Uh, it's a commercial, so it's good. Any shell teams means in Zexus Link. It's not one that can just get at your house as an actual commercial professional one. What model is it? Uh, it is. Commercial. Sparks commercial. Sparks commercial? Yeah, Gen 3. I want to see what we're buying. Just sell it. Here. If you go to their website, you have to sell best courier to commercial. I'm going to pay for you into it. Okay. Um, this is one that we want to get is, like I said, it has two shell panels, so you can sharpen it up here at a time. It takes about three to four minutes. It comes from the air, air filtration system, so it collects all the particles. It's all dosed, so there's no chance of injury. Please, that can thing get caught on, like, can touch. Person who would be sharpening, we click it in, and then they don't touch anything. They press a button, and it does it all by itself. Uh, the price is $5,694.70. Is that any sense? $5,600. $94.70. And, and that is the whole package. So that is for the <clears throat> two share hairs, the head filtration system, and then they uh, use this brightening wheel. So that's what chart is this eat. And this package comes with every type of grinding gear that we would need. Um, it also comes with, like, for finger stakes, so it's a different adaption system that comes with that. Um, Thanks. the whole list of you, you need to how long the crime and will last? Week. They last for 50 to 60. Shop, shop, teach kids. So about 45 to 55 dollars, depending on which one. Two live action ones coming with the machine. Yeah, so they're the balls. 30th. I mean, Perfect. So, so I'm going to start show forward that it is. Yes. yes. Oh, Bob, right. Yeah, it's not bad. That one also has a, uh, they have a thing that you will put onto probably my phone and their phones and then other two, but it needs to be changed if there's any problems. Yeah. So, so, that's the next feature. Uh, anything that's happening, it keeps track of how many seats can do and all that kind of stuff. How fast you go with your wheels. Mm -hmm. Um, we plan for any of the part-time people that are going to be sharpening skates, they will not be touching the grinding wheels. It will be our responsibility. So there's absolutely no reason for any of them to be going inside the machine, except for us. I'll make the motion that we allow the rep to spend by about $694 on it. At 70 cents. Two cents. For their sparks machine. Host, I think. All those who say aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Smart purchase. Great. Anything else? Do we need to discuss the help? First and now, so not necessarily on camera. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. Jeez. But anything else, Jeff? Nope. Oh, okay. Can you move, please? Move? Uh, let's see. All right, let's get that. Uh, slide board last meeting. I forgot to mention, uh, not a, a new title to it, to an old position, but, uh, we made it an assistant, a public works director just for chain command purposes. So if the public works director is out sick, we know who to call next down the chain. And that's going to be Mr. Luke Schoiner. If we could uh, congratulate him on being the assistant public works director. Yeah. Uh, anything? Yep. Yeah. I've been hearing a lot 
of questions. I don't know why they come, but they keep up. What the public works to it, you sell them. So, like, on the end, tell them that come out, tell them that they used to be to see what they do. Um, but I hear a lot of the contract with them now, this, this is living on uh, the scene of the dark. Bring it up to the bar, but I'm just wanting to bring it to your attention because, like I said, I don't know why it comes to me, but I do. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I appreciate you. I know, correct me anybody, correct me from what I remember, there's a culvert or two that needed replaced and it was cheaper to contract it out than to have our guys like get the equipment themselves and do it and waste the man hours on it. Cheaper to have a contractor do it. One of the big things is that I've heard all the time you go to all the sweet back. I know that but for me it makes sense to have somebody that does that do it instead of out of out orders, buy going stuff, come. You just people want you talking clean it up clean it up after themselves? In the, in the spring. Yeah. yeah. And in the spring with oh, it. Oh with the sand and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. I contract with them yeah. to do a forest rather than I call it through zone. Yeah. And uh that was lousy. Yeah, this time I also go to yours and then um, what? people just want I want to step to the cup forty hours for the do we have to go instead with me. So I'm on that's all or not. Road commission. They ran uh, there was one time in April and they were short one guy. We had uh, we had a covert we had to put in kind of emergency covert. We hired a contractor to come in and uh, do it that time. And then recently there's been some real big culverts that uh, if you hire them with, with our backhauls, mm-hmm. they were renting one, but by the time we rented it, it was just just as cheap to bring in a contract. Like they were there helping. Um, you know, they're they're. I, I know I, I've heard some talk about that their roads need to be greedy a little bit more. Uh, we won't talk about that. Um, uh, but uh, they they have been uh, taking down trees. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of that. A lot of taking trees down, and you know, we'll, we've got just some more we've got to talk about. So, how we, we've got a couple of trees. I got to talk with Brian and, and about taking down over in the park. Um, it's the height. We got to talk to him about that. And uh, but no, I. Uh, for the most part, I think that they've been pretty busy. You know, and I think sometimes they pretty see them when they when they aren't. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, I, I can't just say thanks. It's not that. Right, you're retired. That's true. Said fresh. Yeah. Um, do that. Right to the right of the fence at the line running, there is tree. I believe extensions around and the whole day is dead but it's not on our property but if it comes down the wrong way it is going to damage our property i don't know how to do this you think they just go about doing that um but i could know that that several months when i've been over there and i've taken limbs out of there that have fallen down that tree should probably be Address either if that's something that public works does or if the town needs to have a conversation with that landowner. Is it a, is it a, how is it, can it be a hazard to the kids? I, yeah, I mean, if that comes down in the yard, it's going to land right and I mean, it's right on the other side of the fence. And it's not a huge tree. Okay. Is it in the road right away? Wait, is it close to the road? I would say that it is Carol Brady to play. I have not measure how far it is, but it is very close. Obviously, the best thing to do is stop the bomber and see some of the soup. Is that something that the library should do, or the yes. shit comes from us? Yeah, it comes from us. Okay. I, I can look into it. Okay, thank you. Is that the only dead tree? I see like six of them right there. 
That's the one that I know it. Okay. It's only there for Well, I don't know if those pictures taken. The mountain had leads on them, but you can see six trunks. So it's wrong with you, Albert. I'll get off. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Should I call them that I will. It goes still. I will. Okay. I love GIS. You got a lot of information from it. Um, <laughs> anything else? Oh, so going back to what you said, if people see something that needs done, like spring cleanup, let us know during the spring, and we'll pass it on to DPW and make sure they get on it. Um, to let us know. They don't do inventory every day, so they might not know that something's happened that day, so call the town. That's what we're here for. Let us know something's wrong, and we'll take care of it. That's the message I have to the people you talk to. All right. Anybody else? Don't want sure. I know you're going to end up having an informational meeting on that ballot, like, uh, yes. So, yes. Yes. Uh, one of the big questions I have, and I'm sure if there's, is what's it going to cost to get to that place once we're on our supper? Not, nothing that I need an answer for now, but it's supposed to be a question. No, it's going to be better than all. Exactly what the other one did. We did touch. So they did. Yeah, they paid asbestos. Yeah, yeah. they're doing a basement. Any other hazmat that might be in that basement. That would be the dead bodies. Well, we're sorry. You didn't get to have me after all the study. I'm not talking. No, I'm, anyways, yeah, I shouldn't have said that, but yeah, that's right. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Good. Anybody else? All right, awesome. Uh, well, that concludes the September 5th select board meeting. Uh, we will have executive, and I guess we're gonna have Rec. Who's behind Cliff? Todd Pierce. Right, Pierce. Right, Are you staying for executive? Todd. Uh, well, you're invited. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you want me here. Uh, okay, yeah. If you're not here for executive, we can't either. But, um, Anyways, rec department, and if I could have Shelly, Wendy, and Sharon, along with the board. Hey, Cliff. Sorry. Hey, Cliff. Yep. You got some clock out of leave, Brian. Yes. Can I get a motion to end the formal meeting? To end the regular meeting and go into executive. Thank you. Thank you.